taking a live look a couple of ranked teams about to do battle it ought to be a great one tonight and we're glad you're with us brad nessler and kirk herbstreet ready to call espn's college football Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. Stadium named for Dr. Stedman Vincent Sanford, an early major force behind Georgia athletics. EA Sports and ESPN bring you this exciting college football game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by Kirk Herbstreet, and we'll hear from Aaron Andrews on the sidelines and Reese Davis in the studio throughout the game. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Georgia is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. From the one-yard line. Second down. They try the option. Left side. Touchdown, North Carolina. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. It's very important for this offense to get on track early in this game because if they find their rhythm early, it's very, very difficult for the defense to slow them down. Change things up here. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Fires quickly the tight end. Touchdown! He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. He drops back. Throws it deep. Tackle around the 10-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. They try the option. Left side. He might have a chance. They may not catch him. The 10. He scores. What a play. He drops back. And he's taken down at the three-yard line. That's good for a gain of 31 yards. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And with all the focus being on this game since it's Thursday night, most of the country that usually wouldn't watch this team really gets to see how good this kid is. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Another trip in the red zone here for the offense. They don't want to give it up like they did last time. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. He passes for his third touchdown of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks away. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 28-13. Call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it splits the uprights. He drops back. Wants to go long and does. It's caught down the sideline. To the 10. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. The defense has five men up front looking for a big goal line stop here. 
They don't get it. It's points after failing to convert for two. You know, as a defensive coordinator, I think right now, you almost look like you're coaching scared. You, you've got to be able to go back to Monday through Friday, all the preparation that you put in to get ready for this game, and trust that and go out and start to call this defense with some confidence. Right now, they look rattled. And the ball game's over. The Tar Heels get the win, 31-19. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Georgia probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Here's a look at today's player of the game. For the Tar Heels, they start the season out with a win. And for the Bulldogs, they start out the season on the losing end 